to be there where everything is about inspiring others yes you heard me right it's about inspiring others on this channel and nothing more okay um if you see me for the first time on your screen i'm lydia and i create content related to faith love relationship and career and here's me saying a very big thank you to everyone who watched my previous video those who shared and to my new subscribers i am saying a very very big thank you to you we can do this again kindly help me share this video share share with your contacts share with those you know would need this 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 content okay now still on the continuation of red flags and abuse in relationships this is the third episode if you've not seen episode one and two you have missed a lot okay you really have to see episode one and two where i shared my story i shared my uh, my own story as well because i've been should i say i've been a victim or i've had my own share of abusive relationship and i thank god that god brought me out of that relationship okay so in that i'm going to um, um um put the link of the episode one and episode two in this video so if you have not seen it please kindly watch the video so in this episode i'll be talking about signs that you are in an abusive relationship yes signs that you are in an abusive relationship one thing i want you to know is that not everyone knows that they are in an abusive relationship yes you heard me right some people are in an abusive relationship as they speak but they are not just you don't even know now one thing about abuse is that it's in different categories for the abused one one we have people that are in an abusive relationship but they don't know they are in an abusive relationship they feel it's normal okay they feel everything happening in the relationship is normal and secondly we have those that knows that they know those that know that they are in an abusive relationship but yet they don't know how to get out or they feel oh it's going to change or they feel oh with time it will get better so it's in different ways like i said okay now let's talk about red flags i know i believe we all know what red flag means but for the purpose of um emphasis let me quickly um um say what Red, flag, red flags in relationship means now red flags in relationship means those blaring signs like sign it's a sign of danger it's a sign that there's there's going to be or there's danger in the relationship red connotes danger yes red connotes danger red means danger so when we say red flags in relationship it means there's danger in that relationship or danger lies ahead in that relationship if you continue now one thing i want to say is that do not get deceived by these popular sayings popular sayings like nobody's perfect the devil you know is better than the angel you do not know <laughs> not in marriage not in relationship now of course nobody is perfect i'm not perfect you are not perfect my partner is not perfect but that does not mean um you should end up with a monster that does not mean you should end, end up with a very terrible person all in the name of nobody's perfect that saying nobody's perfect has landed a lot of people in trouble one it has ended a lot it has cut short a lot of destinies a lot of lives nobody's perfect now let me also say this say this one thing about perfection in relationship of course we all are not perfect except god but make sure that that your partner's imperfection is something you can live with make sure their imperfection is something you can cope oh what if just just imagine in your head that that particular imperfection escalates later in future will you still be able to handle it will you still be able to live with that person will you still be able to live in peace with this person if that particular imperfection escalates so do not be deceived by that word nobody's perfect nobody's perfect does not mean you should end up with a monster or the most terrible person now let's talk about the angel you know is better than the devil you don't know a lot of people say this a lot when you have for example when you're having an issue in your relationship and then you talk you talk about it to someone and then they are trying to talk you into the relationship or talk you into forgiving the person or talk you um or, or, or they are trying to convince you not to go 
what they say is the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know you should listen how can how can how can the devil you know be better than the angel you do not know would you not rather wait for that angel you do not know i don't i don't if, if, imagine living with an angel imagine waiting for the arrival of an angel and then people are saying okay since you have not even seen that angel yet would you not rather settle for the devil there's nothing good the devil can offer yes the devil offers nothing but death the bible says he came to steal to destroy so that's what a, a devil is there's nothing absolutely nothing good about the devil so do not allow those this popular saints deceive you into settling for the wrong person nobody's perfect and the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know now before i start um because i have quite a number of things i listed here about signs you are in an abusive relationship i'd like to state this fact as well that one thing about red flags is that red flag is that like i said red flag um, connotes danger in a relationship it means danger lies ahead or there is danger in that relationship now one thing about red flag is that it is peculiar to us meaning invariably what is red flag to you may not be red flag to me it is kind of peculiar to us however we have the general ones general red flag that to everybody this is the red flag now, let me let me um, give an example of the peculiar ones okay for example to me smoking or drinking of alcohol to me is a red flag i would explain to some other persons to some other ladies they may see this as normal they may see it as how can this be a red flag but to me it's a deal breaker and the reason is because why why is alcohol a red flag to me okay while well, growing up i have a family friend that would drink to stupor and then would be misbehaving he would get home he would beat, his, beat off his wife do all so many things so many so many terrible things under the influence of alcohol so ever since ever since then i made up my mind that if i want to settle down in the future if i want to get married i would not get married i would never get married or date someone who takes alcohol now it was so bad that while i was when i was still single if you want to ask me out and you just make mention of let's meet at the beer parlor or see it's a turn off for me it's a no-no once you give me the location or i get to the location and you further for any form of alcohol that's the end for me and you so to me it's a red flag of course i have people other people who who, who see this as nothing another thing again for me is um 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 smoking i don't even know how you want to to, to twist it if you smoke that's the end for me and you but to some other people this is nothing they feel what's there the guy is just flexing the guy is just enjoying himself taking about for all clubbing and all that so the others are deal breakers but to some other persons it's normal so that that's the reason i said red flag is kind of peculiar to us what is red flag to you may not be red flag to me but however we have general red flags okay now let's talk about signs that you are in an abusive relationship like i mentioned earlier most people are in an abusive like i said the abused the abused ones are in different categories we have one someone that is in an abusive relationship and they don't even know they don't, they don't have a clue they are in an abusive relationship and then the other the second one is someone that is in an abusive relationship they are aware they are really aware that this is an abusive relationship but they do not know how to get out due to reasons best known to them now let's talk about signs you are in an abusive relationship number one he gets extremely jealous not just he, he or she gets extremely jealous yes now of course even our god is a jealous god right <laughs> our god is a jealous god but jealousy is in jealousy has levels jealousy is in different forms there are some people that no matter how jealous they get they can still control themselves they can still control their jealousy but there are some that when they are jealous they tend to get more dangerous the more jealous they get the more the more the more dangerous they become they can do anything because they are jealous they can now they can go as far as attacking someone 
or attacking you or attacking the person they are suspecting oh you are maybe you're having an affair with whenever they get angry or whenever they are jealous they, they can go as far as breaking your phone doing all sorts of, of all sorts of terrible things because they are jealous i've seen someone who is jealous who has baited his fiance with acid because he, he, he feels okay this girl is getting closer to um, um, an opposite sex so jealousy is we, we all are jealous of course when you see someone getting closer to your partner there's this jealousy that tends to that that would definitely come in but when that person becomes dangerous or when the person tends to attack or do all sorts of terrible things all in the name of jealousy then that is sign you may want to consider as a red flag when the person is extremely jealous then that is sign of red flag or that's a red, um, um, red flag okay number two is very controlling it feels because he's dating you or because you're 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 both in a relationship you want to take charge of your life he should be in charge of your life he gives you order and he wants you to abide by the order he is very controlling he wants to take charge of your life you do not have a say your opinion does not matter with this kind of person you may want to watch out this is a sign you may want to watch out for or this is a red flag in relationship number three and this is what most of these abusers this is what of more this is what most of them do right it strips you off of everyone close to you yes it's, it, it, it makes you, they, they want to isolate you. They want your life to evolve around them alone. They strip you of your family, your friends, and those they know that when you have issues in the relationship, you can go to them and they can talk sense into your head. That's what most of them do. And one thing about this is that by the time you now eventually, eventually leave that relationship, you become very lonely or by the time you are having issues with them in the relationship you are lonely you do not have anybody to call you do not have anybody to run to because you are alone in your world just with them if you have anyone that does not want you to visit your family or that because they are in a relationship with you they don't want you to talk to your friends they don't want you to talk to your family yes so people go as far as talking into your head to make you start having issues with your family your family even your close siblings okay when you when you are experiencing this in a relationship that's a sign you may want to watch out for that's a very very terrible sign okay this is one of their their, their tactics this is one of the things they do to their to their abuse they want to strip you off of people because they know that when you have people around you when you have so many friends they can talk sense into your head when 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 they feel old no, what this guy is doing to me is not just normal. He's not just taking this. That's what they do. And they don't want you to have anybody you can cry to. They don't want you to have anybody. If you're having misunderstandings and you are lonely, you would always want to go back to them because you do not have anybody in your life to run to. You do not have anybody. If they are not alive, you don't have anybody to chat with. If um, 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 you are having a misunderstanding with them, you do not have any other person in your life. See, you need people around you. You cannot do without people. You cannot do without your friends. You cannot do without your family. So whoever is in a relationship with you that wants to strip you off of those that matters in your life, then that's a sign you may want to watch out for. Now, the number first sign, which has um, different branches, is um, abuse. There's abuse in the relationship, yes. And abuse is in different forms, okay? So I'll be talking about the four types of abuse. Um, not the four types of abuse. We have so many, but I'll just be talking about four. I'm talking about emotional abuse. I'll be talking about verbal abuse, sexual abuse, and then physical abuse. When you see all this in your relationship, my sister, bust your shoes and run out of the relationship. Any form of abuse is a no no. Like I said earlier, red flag is kind of is in two ways. It's peculiar to us. Invariably, what is red flag to you may not be red flag to me, but we have the general ones. You see, any form of abuse, it is general. If this is not a sign to you, <laughs> then I don't know. I don't know. But this should 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 be a red flag to you. 
Now let's talk about emotional abuse, okay? Mm-hmm. Emotional abuse as well is in the different forms. Now, when there is emotional abuse in the relationship, or when somebody gives you silent treatment in the relationship, then this is an emotional abuse. Okay, now silent treatment is in various forms. Some people, when there's an issue in the relationship or when they are having misunderstanding with their partner, they know if they engage in any conversation at that point in time when they are still upset, they may tend to disrespect their partner or they may they may say things they are not meant to say. But when it's getting too much, when someone when something is happening in the relationship or when there's an issue in the relationship and the person does not just talk. They just go they just ghost you unnecessarily or they, or they are going through things and they just they, do, they don't tell you they didn't tell you okay this is what i'm going through and please and for this period i just want to be left with my thoughts they just ghost you unnecessarily you try to reach them they are not taking their calls you try to contact them they are reachable some people would even go as far as blocking you of course that's a sign that's a sign you may want to watch out for okay silent treatment is of course, there's an issue, and I don't want to talk at that point in time. I'm just like, please, I don't want to say anything because I know at that point, if I say something, uh, it's, uh, it's, it may escalate the old issue, or I may want to vent, talk out of hunger, and I may want to say something. That's not the kind of silent treatment we are talking about. We're talking about those that will just suddenly ghost you, or those that will just suddenly, you something happened in your relationship, they cannot tell you, they cannot come out to say this is this and this is what is happening in the relationship, and all of a sudden, they are not just talking to you. They're asking them what happened nothing what did you do nothing what, what did i do to you nothing until they are ready we have people like that another thing about emotional abuse is that they don't call to check up on you they won't make you go through emotional torture and then you'll be thinking in your head what have i done to this person see they, they give you they, they stress you mentally because you are in a relationship with them. you're trying to figure out what is happening what have i done to this person that's an emotional abuse. Emotional abuse is also when you they do is that they lead you on and just dump you, uh, 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 they just dump you halfway. Dumping you halfway does not mean they are breaking up with you or they are no longer in the relationship. They are still in the relationship, but you are you are the one carrying all the feelings. You are the one always saying I love you. You are the one always calling to check up on them, and then you are thinking, does this person love me? I've been even in the relationship. See, I've dated a guy before. This guy would never call to check up on me. He would never, he would be online and he would never chat me up. And then when I complained to me, I'll be thinking, isn't that see? If anybody is telling you that they are very busy to call you and they are in a relationship with you, please, it's a sign you may want to watch out for. You are in a relationship, they have already forgotten, forgotten that you exist. It is only when they feel like that's when they call to check up on you. Imagine going into marriage with that kind of person. They are definitely going to forget you exist inside that marriage. So it's a sign you may want to watch out for. The Bible says, wherever your treasure is, that is where your heart will be. If someone loves you, if they have you in their mind, they would always want to call to check up on them because no matter how busy they get, no matter how crazy their day is, they will still find time to eat. They will find time to take a nap. Okay, so if someone is so busy at work, of course there are some particular organizations that people are not meant to use their phones. But of course, they are not meant to use their phones, but they have time for their breaks, okay? If someone cannot take call you in a day i've seen a lot of people that would say they are in a relationship and then you you for three days you have not heard from your partner i don't understand are you guys dating are you fighting <laughs> are you having a misunderstanding or have you broken up how can you be in a relationship with somebody have a good a whole day you did not want to hear from them you don't even know they are aware about you don't even know if something has happened to them this is an emotional abuse and you may want to watch out for it